Hello there and thank you for joining me once again and this time around I'm going to tell you up another dry fly pattern and this guy is called the uh, Badger Hackle Peacock a very simple dry fly uh, there's no wing to tie in it's very uh, simplistic not complicated at all and I got it out of my book uh, flies the best 1000 once again so it's a proven pattern a fish catcher for sure and simple to tie and I thought you might like to see this guy tied up so get him out of the vise and I'll get a fresh hook in and get going here for you now I'm going to tie this guy on a size 10 must head 94840 standard dry and this is the larger size that it, it's tied on and it says you can tie it down to an 18 so chose the 10 for the video but you can tie it a lot smaller than that so for a thread I'm using Danville 6 aught Flymaster for the thread so first thing we'll get a thread base and I'm going to start about two and a half three eye lengths behind the eye here let's get a thread base down wrap back towards the barb oops okay just nicked my point there a little bit no harm no foul now I'm just going to wrap back to just in front of the barb there just like so now the tail is uh, golden fez and tippet which you've seen me use in a lot of flies and this one has a little bit thicker tail than usual so I'm going to stick to the book I'm just going to cut quite a few fibers off here for the tail and I want that to uh, be about hook shank length so I'll tie that in here pinch it on top just like so a couple wraps check it and see how it looks I want to wrap back on it just a couple wraps like so okay then we'll come forward a few wraps stop our thread there next step is a rib and it calls for real fine gold wire so I have a nice fine gold wire here and I'll tie this guy in on the far side we'll catch him there down on the side wrap that back to just in front of the tail and we'll stop it there and I'm gonna wrap all this down wrapping forward just like so here okay now the body is peacock curl and I have four strands here okay I'm going to just cut off those tips because we know how brittle they are, so I'll cut those off. Okay, I'm going to catch that in on top of the shank. I'm going to wrap back towards the tail. Stop when I'm just almost there, and then I'm going to make a dubbing loop. Bring that up around. A couple wraps around the base of that loop. Bring it up to lock it in place. Then I'll grab the hurl and thread at the same time and wrap that back to in front of the tail so we want to make our first turn right there and proceed forward with the thread to the tie off point and we'll stop there now I'll grab my hackle pliers and snip onto that thread in the hurl begin to twist that a little bit but before I wrap like you've seen me do plenty of times for durability I'll take some Hit cement and go along the uh, thread wraps first. It's a little bead of cement there. Okay, now I'll begin to twist that. Now we'll wrap our body. First wrap right in front of our tail there. Just like so. Okay, I just want to check that for positioning. I'm going to turn the vise a little bit. Makes it a little easier to wrap is all. That way I won't hit the hook point. Okay, I want to make one more wrap there. Alright, now we'll begin to wrap forward. Just like so. Now I give it halfway. I'll turn the vise back up. I'm going to give that a little spin again and just continue to wrap that forward just like so 
till we get to where we want to tie off here and we're almost to that point now okay that's fine I'll come up around in behind one more time over the top then wrap back to lock it in place and we'll come in nice and close and snip that guy out of there okay now our rib I'm going to counter wrap that so just wrap that in the opposite direction and probably five or six evenly spaced turns it's just in there for it to add some more durability to the fly tie that wire off a couple wraps and I'm gonna wrap back on to lock it in place then just give it a little spin there we go okay now our last step is to tie in our hackles here and then wrap those so I have two ready here and I'm gonna show you a little trick here or a tip you may have seen, you may already have know about it but anyway when I go to wrap dry fly hackles what I always do is on the side that's going to come around to the shank first which would be the far side I strip a few hackle fibers off I don't know if you can notice that one side there's a few hackle fibers missing and that way when you tie that in and you make your first wrap you're not going to get hackle fibers shooting out to the, towards the back of the fly you're going to get more of a straight uh, wrap when you wrap it the hackle is going to be straight up and down so that's just a little tip I throw in there I don't know if you knew about it but anyhow you just try that when you wrap your hackles and you'll find they'll they'll wrap a lot straighter for you so let's tie these in we'll get the concave side facing back that's what we want wrap those stems forward it's like so I'm gonna come in with my thumb now and push up on them snip those two out of there just like so and make a nice smooth base to wrap that hackle and stop my thread right behind the eye okay so I'll grab my hackle pliers once again and we'll grab that first tackle here and wrap this guy and we'll come around as you can see from stripping off a few fibers when you make that first wrap it doesn't uh, have any hackle fibers that are gonna shoot back towards the tail to stay fairly straight as you can see so we'll just make one wrap right for the next year until we get to the eye where we want to tie off okay just like so and I'll make one more wrap around and I'm going to tie this guy off when I come up Okay, we'll tie him off. A couple wraps in front of him. Gonna release the pliers. And come in and snip him out nice and careful like. There we go. And if you got a couple fibers that you trap down, just snip them out. Okay. One more there. There we go. Alrighty, a couple more securing wraps there. Okay, now we're ready for the second hackle. Same deal. Just going to bring that around. As you can see, I made that first wrap and I didn't get any hackles going rearward. Grab him with the pliers. Okay. And on the second hackle too also, I always wiggle that back and forth so it doesn't trap down any of the first fibers of the first hackle. It helps quite a bit to do that. I do that on all hackles that I wrap for dry flies. Okay, we're going to tie this guy off, same deal. A couple wraps behind him. And a couple wraps in front there. And we'll snip him out. Okay, I got a few trap fibers there, so I'm just going to snip those guys out. A couple more there. 
Alrighty. There's our two hackles. Nice full hackle. So I'm going to make a couple more securing wraps here. Then what I'll do is come in with a half hitch or two. On this. Before I do a whip finish. There's one. Two. Snug it down. Whoops, sorry folks. Okay, now I'm going to grab my whip finisher here. And come in with a 4 or 5 turn whip finish to finish him up. Okay. And as you can see, very simplistic fly. Snug that down. Snip off the excess. There we have it. Another size 10 Badger Hackle Peacock. Okay, so all that's left to do now is put a little coat of UV resin on them thread wraps and cure it, and he's a done deal. So I'll come in and go around the thread wraps there. And that'll make a nice strong hit on that guy. Okay. Cure that up real quick here. Okay. Well, there he is, folks. Real simple tie. So I hope that you'll uh, give this guy a go. So anyway, like always, thank you so much for watching to all my subscribers. Thank you a lot for that. And I hope you'll keep watching in the future. And to anyone that hasn't seen my videos before, if you'd like to subscribe, hit the good old subscribe button. I appreciate that a whole lot. And also throw in a like too. And share with your friends and whatnot. Appreciate that a great deal. And until next time, Happy tying out there, everyone. Stay safe out there, and uh, I'll see you again soon, and so long for now, folks. Oops, folks.